Hi, Mike. It's Megan Gailey. Um, I just made my boyfriend leave the room because I was afraid that I was going to embarrass myself and get too emotional talking about this game. Um, my favorite game, the game that means more to me than anything on this earth, a game that I've even said was probably the greatest day of my life, was the 2006 AFC Championship between the Indianapolis Colts and the New England Patriots. Oh, wow, even saying it. Um, I was lucky enough to go to this game. I remember we were the second game. I say we because I think of myself as a part of the Colts organization, but when other sports fans say we, I don't like it. So I just want you to know I am hypocritical on that point. The Bears had already won the NFC Championship game, so we knew they were going to the Super Bowl, and whoever won was going to face them. Now, obviously, the Colts love to lose to the Patriots, maybe more than any team loves to lose to them. Um, also the Steelers at that time. I remember tailgating, getting very pretty drunk, not too drunk. No, I guess I was pretty drunk because this is before Lucas Oil was built. And I remember walking by it and saying I wanted to have my wedding there. And my brother telling me that I was trash and somehow spoiled at the same time. Um, during tailgating, I saw a woman pee in the sink at White Castle. So it was a beautiful day. Um, the Colts were down 21-6 at halftime. It felt like 21-3, though, because Vinatieri scored a field goal at the very end. Vinatieri was on the Colts at this point. Kind of confusing. Um, boy, I remember halftime feeling so low, so sad. My brother went out to smoke a cigarette. Just a really melancholy feeling in the RCA Dome, now torn down. Um, I don't remember what halftime was. I, this was like before Monkey Road on Dog. It was like probably some Indiana like punt pass and kick thing, but like not even nationals because they were just like, we just want to compete against other people from Indiana. It's a red state. Um, the second half started. This is a name you might not remember hearing a lot. Joseph Adai. Oh, my God. So incredible. Amazing. Peyton was amazing. Um, they ended up tying the game on a two-point conversion that he threw to like a guy who was fat, who had to be deemed eligible to catch a ball. And then the place just going nuts. If you've never been to a dome, it is so loud and so incredible. I don't think I will ever hear and feel how loud and amazing it felt in that building at that time. And then I remember the Patriots driving down the field. It felt like the worst type of deja vu. Like Tom Brady is going to do it again. And then Marlon Jackson had the interception to seal the wind. I said wind, but I meant win. And he lands and his arm goes up in the air. And he's like, we did it. We're going to the fucking Super Bowl. And my very good childhood friend married him. So I got to be at his wedding. I know that feels name dropper, but it just means how much... I love this team that I love my friend and I am happy for them. They're still together and they have three beautiful children, but to be at the wedding of a man who sent us to the Super Bowl, unprecedented. The Colts, if you'll remember, went on to beat the Bears um, in that rainy Miami game with Rex Grossman. But let's not focus on the sad. 2006 AFC Championship game. My brother had to hold me up so I could watch the confetti fall. I was truly lost in a way that felt so beautiful, and I have not known happiness like that since that moment. And thank you for allowing me to relive it. Go Colts, go Andrew Luck. Everybody should kneel. Love you, bye.